Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Dave Koken of wagertalk.com. We're talking the Outback Bowl, January 2nd, Saturday, kicking off the Saturday card here, 12.30 Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific kick here on ABC, the Outback Bowl, Ole Miss Rebels versus the Indiana Hoosiers here, Dave. We got 65 and a half being the total with the Hoosiers laying eight in Raymond James Stadium, Tampa, Florida. What are you thinking here as the SEC squares off against the Big Ten? Well, I, I mean, look, Mississippi's had a pretty good year. Um, they've shown some improvement. I think their future looks bright uh, with this coach. Indiana's had a great season, uh, an absolute dream season for the Hoosiers. And you wonder about the respect factor for Indiana. Now, they're getting it as far as the betting line is concerned because they're good-sized favorites in this game. But sure. I'm not sure that Indiana really cares about that. I think what Indiana might be caring about is the fact that, you know, considering the great season they had, they didn't really get one of the super attractive bowl games. You know, they're playing Mississippi, which is okay, but it's not a real big name opponent. Let's put it that way. Um, I think that plays into the, the handicap here. You want to find teams, particularly this season, because it's been such a weird year. You want to find the team that has the motivational edge. And I actually do think that might be Indiana here. Now, the downside, unfortunately, is you have to give up more than a touchdown. And that's kind of steep against the Mississippi team that can score, would certainly have a backdoor possibility. And from a matchup standpoint, what Mississippi does really poorly is defend the run. And Indiana really doesn't run the ball all that effectively. So I'm not sure that I like it all that much from a fundamentals matchup. But from an intangibles standpoint i think indian is the side i'd have to go with okay looking towards the hoosiers here dave and you know this matchup standpoint I, I i love how you brought that up in terms of defending the run is where the rebels defense really struggles and indiana doesn't do that too well it looks like 71 degrees um light winds projected of course we're talking a couple days here before this game will kick off i mean total wise dave i I don't know. I kind of wonder if this is just laying a little too low. Now, it isn't Florida. you got to watch the weather towards kickoff. But talking about the Indiana Hoosiers side, I mean, 6-1 and one on the year, 7-0 and oh, ATS. And depending yeah. on what number you are betting them, of course, they have been a great bet all season long. So not so sure that the market will come back on Ole Miss before kickoff. If you like Indiana, no. I'd probably bet it sooner rather than later, right? But talking about the old Miss side here, and you brought up the, the back door likely being open, Dave, where this is a Lane Kiffin coached offense. You know, they've, they've scored points literally on anybody, even the Alabamas of the world, talking about an all SEC schedule here. Their offense averaging 40 points a game. The only problem with old Miss, Dave, is their defense let up 40 points a game. So I, I think that that back door could be open. I'm like an old Miss, but I'll uh, throw it over to you for, for kind of closing thoughts. It's not going to be a, a game that I play. I already know that. Uh, I, I thought the number was, it was just a good number at seven. And it's not appreciably different at eight. I think Indiana wins the game, but I'm very reluctant to lay that many points. Yeah, this is a good one. SEC versus Big Ten. And of course, Ole Miss left out one stat, averaging 7.1 yards per play. That offense is for real, Dave. So uh, Outback Bowl on January 2nd, guys. It's going to be a good one. Ole Miss versus Indiana. Check out both websites here, wagertalk and sportsmemo.com. And always remember, Tuesdays, $2 Tuesday at both websites. Hottest handicappers, top play. Discounted to just $2 at sportsmemo and wagertalk.com.